This video discusses how to set up multiple y-axes for a chart. The example you see here shows a column chart with one additional y-axis on the right side, but you can also add more y-axes on each side of the chart. You also can add multiple y-axes on area charts, line charts, scatter charts, and bar charts, where the axes show on the top and bottom of the chart. Using the left axes and right axes settings, you can combine arbitrary series in any number of axes, split pivoted series across various axes by measure, render log charts with values between 0 and 1, and render charts with various measure types so long as they are not combined, for example, linear and log. So let's set this up. I have a chart that has three series, one for each measure, order count, total gross margin, and total sale price. The total revenue values are much higher than the count of orders, so I can barely see the number of orders and can't tell how much they've changed. I could click on the two series with the larger values to turn them off, but I really want to see all of these values at the same time. So instead, I'll just add an additional y-axis on the right for the order count. First, I click the Visualization Sections Edit Gear, then choose the Y tab. There is a section for the left axis. You'll see all three series are on the left axis number one currently. So I'll move the orders count to the right axis. Now we can easily see the values for both series, because order count has its own axis. Also, we have control over the options for each axis separately in the axis tabs to control things like the scale type, axis name, value format, min and max values, and so forth. As you probably noticed, the tabs are called left one and right one, and yes, you can add more axes on both sides. What if we want total gross margin and total sale price to have different axes? I could have two Y axes on the left side, each with its own scale. All I need to do is drag one of the series to create a new left axis. Now I have two left axes, each with its own scale and I can set the axis configuration options for the new axes. You also can move a series to an existing y-axis. For example, I could change my mind and move this series back to share an axis. When working with bar charts, the only difference is that you choose between top and bottom axes. For example, we can move the order count to make a top axis. By the way, you can use multiple axes even with pivoted data. In this case, I've pivoted the gender field so I can see the order count and the total sale price separately for females and males. Closing the data section and using the visualization menu's Y tab, I can move one of the series to its own axis.